So what do you do when you've made a promise to yourself, also called a New Year's resolution, not to eat sweets? And you really want them? Uh, so you make them into soap. Today, we are making blueberry cupcake soap. The only way to have your cake, but also not eat it too. Is what it is. Let's get started. Hi guys and welcome back to the Simple and Beautiful Life Kitchen where today we are baking blueberry cupcakes but not in the oven. We are making my blueberry cupcake soap. I made this last year it was one of my favorites. It was one of my husband's favorites. So pretty much anyone who tried it, it was their favorite. We now have blueberry cupcake bath bombs. And, you know, if you're really living life to the fullest, you will be matching your bath bomb scent to your soap scent. Let's be honest, you know? What's life if your soap and your bath bombs don't match? I am changing up my the look of these blueberry cupcake soaps. Last year, it, it looked like a blueberry cupcake, which is a, around what it's going to look like this year, where there's a brown bottom, like a cupcake, and then blue on top. But this year, the blue that's on top is going to be multicolored blue. So let's get going. Um, I need to weigh out my oils. I have my Lyoid water over here, it's cooling. I like to soap at room temperature or as close to it as possible, which really gives me a lot of time to do what I'm planning on doing today. So let's get those weighed out and we'll be right back. Okay, done and done. We are all measured out, all weighed out. I am going to go ahead Put my brown mica into straight into my oils. I completely and fully understand that a lot of people like to mix their micas into oil separately. I'll be honest, I feel like that just adds an extra step that's not really necessary, so I don't do that. I am adding a little bit of extra mica because I'm using a French vanilla fragrance today and that will cause my oils to turn more of a yellow color so in an attempt to fight that yellow color I am adding more mica most likely after I add the French vanilla I will have to add even more to counteract that yellow that really is the hard part about using a vanilla fragrance, the high vanilla content in that fragrance oil, it's going to turn it yellow. It really is easier just to plan on the soap being yellow. That blue is already giving me a run for my money. So this could get interesting. It finally turned the light blue that I wanted. You can see it's kind of a 
It looks green on camera. I promise you it's not actually that green. It's like a very, very light, um, icy blue color. So exactly what I wanted, but it took me a second to finally get there. But we are there. So now let's work on the brown, which turned the right color instantly. Why can't they just all do that? I don't know. All right, both my oils and my lye are sitting right around 90 to 100 degrees, which is perfect for this first layer because being not crazy hot, but a little hot will help it solidify a little faster, which is exactly what I need for the blue layer to be able to stay on top. Okay, so I have added my lye water and I have also added my fragrance. My oils and my lye are now a lovely shade of weird brown yellow. So I am going to add a little bit more brown mica. Whew. Okay, this is one of those times when you're making soap and you're mixing and you're mixing and you're mixing and it's just still a very watery consistency, which for this first layer is not what I'm going for at all. Uh, and you just gotta keep mixing and mixing and mixing. <laughs> and as you're mixing, there's a part of you that's like, did I remember to put lye in my water? Is this really soap? What am I doing here? This isn't, this is weird. Why is this? <laughs> 30 minutes of mixing later and I'm still mixing water. Sometimes that's just how it works. It's typically because of the fragrance oil. Those darn fragrance oils. I mean, they have a mind of their own. They really do. So, let's keep mixing. Okay, that only took mildly, you know, half of my entire lifetime. This makes me think about doing just an entire line of an entire cupcake series, because it smells so good. You, you, it makes you want tons of them. Okay, I have my kitchen scale because I want this to be about as, as even of bars, as consistent of bars as I can get. So, I guess it doesn't make sense to actually cover up where the numbers are, huh? There we go. Now, we have this lovely cupcake batter. I'm gonna pour it in nice and slow. As you can see, it's already getting a little bit thicker, which is just perfect. There we go. Put the same amount in here. All right, now let me tap these down real quick. I have just a little bit more and that will go into both these molds once I tap them down, just a little bit. Okay, they have been tapped down just to remove any bubbles that might've been left in. Stir this up a little bit. Now, this is not an exact science, but I am just trying to make sure that these soaps look as even as possible. Okay, that should be the last little bit. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go clean up the side of my soap because like a novice, I decided to scrape it on the side, even though I want there to be two distinct layers. So don't do that. <laughs> okay, um, the cupcake layer, it's nice and solid now. It's not moving around, doing anything. 
So it's time to get started on the actual blueberry part, which this is where the timing really comes into play because I don't want this getting too hard before I'm able to swirl it and make it look pretty. So right now I'm primarily just hand mixing. That slows everything down, which is exactly how I need it to be. Let's see. This, this fragrance oil smells so yummy. Now here's the first blue color. It's kind of like a blue green ocean sort of color. Oh gosh, and it looks really pretty with that brown. Now I am, I've decided I am just gonna kinda do this a little haphazardly, and I'm already glad that I did because it looks really nice. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of this blue to both of them. Maybe not. I love this blue already. <laughs> I love it so much. Did a little bit more for that one. It's really a very subtle difference. Now, I know on camera it really doesn't look like that big of a difference, but this is much bluer. Man, I love this. Okay guys, here is our finished product. I added a little bit of this silvery, shiny, white on top. And then I swirled that in because who in the world wants a cupcake that's not decorated on the top? I know I don't. Okay, now I am going to let these sit overnight, just chill out, leave them alone, and you will be able to catch my soap cutting videos on the YouTube shorts or on TikTok. You can find me at Simple and Beautiful Life and you'll be able to see what these look like on the inside and I cannot wait. They're just going to be gorgeous. Um, that's all for today. Like I said, these are just gonna sit and chill overnight. They're making the whole house smell good so for the rest of the day, I get to enjoy some blue blueberry cupcake smelling house without breaking my New Year's resolution and actually eating the cupcake. So, I will catch y'all later. I hope you had an absolutely wonderful day. Please like and, like and subscribe. If you do, it will help me be able to talk better. And we all know that I really need that. <laughs> um, but for real, it does help this channel grow, helps me reach more people. Also click that, that little bell icon so you can see whenever I'm making more soap or bath bombs, shampoo bars, whatever it is that we can dream up in this crazy kitchen. I will catch you guys later. Like I said, I hope you had a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.